It's uh, the play is a point and cut in the way to form. I'm doing two parts, the uh, exposition and a scene that's not directly at the beginning, but a space after. It should all make sense. Um, you're all in the correct spot. Huh. Enjoy. of comedy and tragedy. Tonight, I am pleased to announce a comedy. We shall employ every device we know in our desire to divert you. It all takes place in a street row, around and about these three houses. First, the house of Erodius. A befuddled old man, abroad now, in search of his children, stolen in infancy by pirates. Absolutely no interest in pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the house of Senex, who lives here with his wife and son. Also in this house lives Sulus. Sulus is probably my favorite character in the piece. A role of such nuance and variety, and played by an actor of such well, let me put it this way. I play the part. <laughs> Anything you ask for, a comedy tonight. Um, I already decided to do 
between that one and that you know what? Hysterium, there's something you should know about that you know what. What? That girl of whom you think the worst is my daughter. Your what? My daughter. You've heard me speak of her. Never. Why well, don't like to talk about her? <laughs> that girl is not your daughter. My sister? I should have told her parents. Wait, hysterium, the truth. She has been sold to a captain who comes any minute now to claim her. Oh, I'll go tell her parents. Well, then I go with you. So you don't have to be there when I tell them about you. No, I want you to be there when I tell them about you. There's nothing to tell them what about me. I'm a prep or virtue. A girl. I think it would be of interest to the family that their slave in chief, their pillar of virtue, has secreted within his confines Rose and Rome's most extensive collection so of erotic so pottery. Hero? Tell me, where on earth did you ever get that freeze bowl with the... Pizzoulis? <laughs> there, as you know, your mother and father um, made me in charge of your innocence. However, I decided to allow you to remain with the girl until her arrival of a captain. Oh, Billy, uh... Okay, stop that. Before you hurt each other. <laughs> Master, I said you needed a brilliant type of that. Yes? I've been to the harbor and I found one. Come on, are we going somewhere? You are. You have your belongings. Let us get yours. Where are we to go? Away. Where away? Far away. Well, but my family is... My captain! There's only room for the two of you. Where? In the Tiber there sits a boat, gently dipping its bow, trim and tidy and built to float. Pretty little picture. Now, put a boy on the starboard side, leaning out of the rail. Next to him but a blushing bride, slim and slender and starry-eyed. Back to in the moon's a glow, your arms entwined, you steal the low. And at the end put a tiny bed, the boat and the bed and the boy and the bride. It's a pretty little picture, oh my, pretty little picture. How true, pretty little picture, which I soon a little less give to you. Feel the vocal of the playful waves, see the sails as they swell. Hear the whips on the galley slaves, pretty little picture. Well, next, put the bride next to me. Oh, and I carry it through. Carry it through. Carry it through. Hey. I was sad. I was sad. Go to the bed and the boy and the bride and the boy and the bride are away. It's a pretty little picture to share as your little boat sails to sea. Have a little trip free as air, have a little freedom on me. No worries? No worries. No bothers. No captains. No fathers. <laughs> In the ocean and island waits, smooth and sandy and pink, filled with lemons and nuts and dates, pretty little picture. Think! In the cottage of cypress trees, seashells dotting the door, boy a bride of a life of ease, doing nothing but what they please. And <laughs> to see or hear, just the shore, and the sand, and the sea, and the sky, and the sound of a soft little satisfied sigh. <sighs> All your petty little problems will cease, and your little worries are gone, and your little family increased. Pretty little picture, <laughs> no, no, pretty little masterpiece. Pretty little picture, come, we go. Wait, yes. I cannot go. <clears throat> Why can you not? As long as the captain has a contract, I must go with him. It is the way of a courtesan. Oh, Venus, why have you brought us together only to part us? Be brave, hero. For us, there will never be happiness. We will have to learn to be happy without happiness. <laughs> Are you hearing this? And no mention of me or my freedom. She must go with him. <laughs> this is torture. Why doesn't he come and take me? He, he will come for you, but not right now. On the street, inside. He will come for me. He will. I shall have him knock three times. Two and one more. Yes, that's it. No, in him, in him. <laughs>
You there, sir. What do you have in the ways of a uh, prehens? His book of potions and my pass to freedom. What I need is his sleeping potion. With a drop or two of that, the breath stops short. The eye slams shut. The body hangs limp. I shall mix a few drops in a basket in a beaker of wine and give it to the girl to drink. I, know, I shall like us that she has died of the plague and tell her to dispense of the body. Then they to the boat, I to the hills, and you to your homes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just have a seat and...